Hello everyone, Intuitive Healing Quantum Healing. Let's go dive deep in today. I would like to bring you some analogy, some information around sorry, self-worth. How often are you feeling that? How often is bothering you that energy inside you? So definitely, definitely self-worth often lies deeper than we are thinking. Often um, is under our... Uh, I would like to say under our skin, our under our, under our energetic um, level and the system. So self-worth often lies deeper than your current lifetimes. So definitely like that. So if you know, I know you know because you're watching me and you were not watching me for the reason. So definitely stay tuned at the end. So you will be know how to um, release that emotions from your body. And from your aura from your biofield energy so let's go dive deep in oh, i couldn't oh, i couldn't wait to do something giving you that information is so amazing to feel worthy to feel enough to feel enough to receive all the beautiful stuff from the world and to feel really um, smart to feel really really um happy to feeling that energy inside you because you deserve it's everything you don't have to wait for it you can grab it now that's your choice if you would like to grab it now or you would like to postpone or you would like to be in the middle of your way and saying no i'm not worthy enough i don't want to receive it this i don't want to receive it that so definitely self-worth is really really mm, I would like to say issue for the people at the moment on the planet earth like always been but nowadays a lot of people just only struggling with that stuff yes i'm using the word struggling i'm not using thank you for the hearts i'm not using too much the struggle because the struggle is low vibration word because when you're struggling you're out of the alignment but the alignment is your zero i would like to say zero point but you're on the axis that that the line um when you're going straight up and the, the higher dimension on the soul level so all the destruction will be outside of you okay that won't be bothering you anymore but definitely self-worth and uh, not not being good enough not um, feeling too worthy to receive something and also not feeling too smart always feeling so stupid and saying that words to towards to yourself and abusing yourself verbally emotionally and physically yes wow i never know what i'm going to talk about because all the messages what i'm talking i'm so i'm talking and i'm giving to you is like all messages i'm channeling straight away so let's go because my spirit guy is giving me those abusing yourself emotionally physically and mentally okay so how is that emotionally so you are talking to yourself i'm not good enough i'm not worth enough i don't have a too much wisdom inside me so i couldn't uh, able to receive something from somebody because they've got a much more for example money than me or they've got a much more beauty inside them than me they've got a much more better clothes than me see that's or maybe they've got a bit better house or something but that's your perspective see that's your perspective just only your perspective just only ask go and uh, go and straight away ask those kind of the people and say to them can you can you recognize that stuff you've got and how you how does that feel for you do you feel much better than me or something just have a conversation but the conversation from the mm, not, not non-judgmental conversation so be open and just only allow yourself to receive those information because that's only your perspective that's only one side so what if those kind of the people who you're thinking oh they've got the so much and the vibration is so high they're so pretty and etc etc what if your perspective is um incorrect because those people could feel and think and have a different point of view than you so asking communication is really really essential for that period that's definitely so emotionally so stop talking just when you start asking those kind of the things where does that come from how long i'm just only carrying in my vessels that energy inside me how i can release it yes you need to release that energy not just only when you're sitting i'm releasing that energy from my body from my aura of course it works but also you need to start breathing you need to start walking rounding yourself you need to start 
going to um, any kind of the um, uh, events and just only learn more wisdom because the wisdom and knowledge information and um, that's amazing tools to protect yourself and to get out of this situation get out from the self-worth issues okay because as much wisdom you're going to inherit i mean inherit possess just only absorb that's the best word. absorb wow so then you will be feel oh my goodness empowered and you'll be feel like oh my oh, i'm so happy i've got that you'll be saying that kind of the words i'll be saying oh i'm so happy i never give up because that information giving you giving you the security safety and worth inside you because you know you know you always be you always know but now you really know because you press that button press that uh, akashic records with your beautiful knowledge and information and now you're allowing yourself to open yourself for more so more wisdom will come towards to you when you're going to say okay i'm open to receive more and then take the action okay take the action and go outside and do something with that stuff take the action that's really really crucial to take the action okay so that's self-worth we said i'm a, um don't abuse emotionally yourself don't abuse yourself physically around the self-worth don't judge yourself how you looks like don't judge yourself what kind of the food are you eating if you've got a, a, i mean um if you've got the time to prepare the healthy and really really uh, home cool, uh, home food perfect but if you don't have because you are on the trip or you are somewhere outside and you couldn't have access to the kitchen for example so don't judge yourself if you would like to go buy a sandwich it's okay that's occasionally once a while you are allowing yourself to do that but don't judge because that's outside circumstances that gave you that um option definitely so please don't be too much judgmental on yourself don't abuse yourself physically no overeating not less eating don't putting your protein and carbs and that kind of things don't be obsessed too much no that's the ego it's talking through you i had a conversation this morning about the ego but definitely yes so that's definitely don't do that don't do that and another things what you can do don't obsessively uh, exercise and don't over uh, train your body i've been in that place uh, so many times and when i have trained over uh, i i, I over train my body and i just only pay the price i paid really 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 uh how can i say really high price for that i couldn't move for the one week and i couldn't walk oh that was a crazy time by the way so don't do that because everything is given for you for the reason. So don't abuse yourself emotionally because that also is a self-worth. You're not self-worthy because you are punishing yourself, you're abusing yourself, you're giving that bitterness, uh, you betraying yourself, that kind of a things. Oh, please don't do that. That's all the raw vibration emotions you are anchoring to your body and to your mind. Okay, so I said emotionally, physically and mentally, okay? Oh my goodness that's all the stuff that's all the thoughts don't allow them to go much more deeper inside you i understand you i understand you i can hear you i can see you i know that that thought sometimes the crawling to your mind okay i know that's period i had them too but don't allow them stay in your mind more than 16 seconds no less just only pay attention okay they came okay so do something get up jump few times or just only do something and tell them what do you want ask the first question what do you want from me you're not belonging here please go back or return to the source or to the core when you come from because that's you're not mine and also you need to analyze okay that's my thoughts or maybe that's somebody's thoughts because you need to know if you had a really really uh, emotional conversation really really juicy i would like to say conversation with somebody you can inherit their thoughts okay so remember you need to send them back it's not like a kind of things you don't like that uh, human or that soul no that's that that thinks uh hi from india so that that things is not belonging to you at all okay so that's showing you are setting the beautiful boundaries for yourself and that's showing 
you are really really value yourself which is their self-worth okay that's so many stuff that's so, so vast around the self-worth issues but also that's the major i would like to give you the major is a self-worth is not coming just only from this lifetime not only from your childhood not only from your your mother and father because i'm not saying the parents the parents is a three-dimensional world parents we are renting our children okay go and search more around it but definitely from our mother father from our ancestors it's so much deeper it's so much deeper we inherited through our dna and then we inherited that stuff from also our parallel universes like i said yesterday um in my in my video so that's all the vast and all deep that's so deep so we need to go to much more deeper inside us which is i'm just only offering for some people who are really ready for the souls who are really ready the bio field clearing so that energy when you go dive deep in when you go to the deep in your bio field and your aura because you know 80 percent 80 percent let me go back again. 20%. You've got the 80% and 20%, which is a 100%, isn't it? So I would like to give you that information around the soul because soul is the imprint of your all Akashic records. All the stuff you need to learn, relearn and improve and because you need to go a much higher level. So 20% your soul is in your body, okay? Imagine this. And 80% you are much more bigger outside of your body. So see how easy to catch something from somebody because biofield clearing energy is overlapping with somebody's uh, energy. We're constantly overlapping. We need to constantly clean it ourselves. It's just only... Um, remove it what we don't want what we want and that's a constant uh, work we need to do on ourselves not just only physically but also mentally emotionally okay so that's why i would like to say 20 percent is in your soul is in your body 80 percent is outside so it's much more big much more higher much more vast so that's why you need to clear it out that um unwanted emotions that underlying uh, issue uh, and that core of um, your self-worth so, for example, I can give you the example. If somebody, if one soul got a self-worth issue and then when they're going to decide to clear it out that they've tried so many things, they've tried to a healing, they've tried to Reiki, they've tried to go to the uh, Western medicine, <laughs> I would like to say, and they try to herbal tea and they try to yoga, tai chi, pilates, so many stuff, amazing crystals, that's amazing. I love that. I really love that. And everything is helping them. Everything is supporting them if they would like to use it. But the major one, I've been in that place when I was just bouncing the wall, bouncing the wall. I really knew it was my issue. I really knew it. And I've tried so many stuff, like I just only mentioned a few seconds ago. But I was just only know it is something much more deeper inside me need to be rid of something much more deeper was planted inside me long time ago and then i was thinking what is it who is that and where who is who is that stuff who is that stuff belong to oh definitely it was belong to me because your ancestors of your ancestors your ancestors of your ancestors that's the big and vast please share this message and that's for my much more advanced souls if you would like to go with that philosophy and leave me a comment below if you'd like to talk a little bit more about it so definitely definitely um i would like to do that uh, so when you go much more deeper you can recognize is that issue the self-worth issue is not from this lifetime it's not from the past lifetime sometimes it's from your parallel universes um, lifetimes and from the different galactic so in my case in my situation i was created not me but actually me 1000 years ago 100 1500 years ago it's so much deep we can go we've got the access to those kind of the information i'm tapping to the akashic records i'm going back and i'm um 
uh, channeling those kind of information from the spirit guides, from my spirit guides, from the another source who is coming to me. So that's kind of so much deep. You need to go much more deeper. So that's why a lot of people just only not telling you that all the truth about it, because you need to clear it out, that energy, remove it, neutralize it. So that energy and stop it because that energy won't be triggered you anymore. And that's how you can step into your full power. Okay. So pay attention. So many people say, okay, I'm so happy. I read of this. I read of that. I don't have any anger issue, but they didn't tell you how they do that. Exactly. They telling you how, but they didn't tell you how they do that. Exactly. I've been in that place. I've been searching. I've been looking at lots of people like that. And they say, okay, I've done this. You have to go here and you have to go here. I said, okay. But what else? What did you do? Like, I mean, the, what did you do that's really changed your life? They're not going to tell you. Of course, they don't have to. But I'm giving you that information because I would like to see you to grow, evolve, um, and be happy. Grow, evolve, and be happy. Have much more freedom in your life and feel much more lighter, definitely. Could the spirit guide provide solution to issues beyond a person's control? I'm not quite understand this question. Could the spirit guides provide the solution? Actually, the spirit guide not providing the solution. They guiding you. They giving you informations. Okay, so they are giving you information around. Okay, you can go this way or you can go that way. Okay, but your choice. You've got the free will to choose. You've got the um, how can I say? You've got the power inside you as a soul to override any kind of the situation in your life okay and the person controls do you mean the controlling yourself too much and because you have to go here you have to go here so that's the ego is talking through you so stop controlling yourself okay allow everything happen for you and be really true with yourself saying okay that's good fantastic i can move it on did i answer your question they can give you the um, uh, guidance, like I said, but they, they never tell you, okay, Gabriela, you're supposed to go this way and that's it. That's your only way to go. No, it's not like that. You can go to A, you can go to B, and that's your choice. Okay, if you would like to go A, just go A. If you would like to go for the B option, you can go for the B options. You need to feel it, okay, to some extent. Okay, because that's that that's the things like a lot of people nowadays they really seeking when I'm just only doing the reading cards, for example, and um, how can I say channeling messages from the spirits, guides, angel, and ancestors. The people really seeking, of course, they seeking. I'm happy with that, but they really want answer. They really want answer. Do I need to have this or do I need to have that? Like an answer, yes, no, yes, no. But your choice, that's your choice. That's you came here to learn. That's you came here to take your own responsibility for your action, to take your own power, okay, back. It's not the spirit, it's not the spirit uh, work. The spirit's work is like a gu guiding you and giving you that options, okay? And you can choose. That's a kind of the puzzles. This life, as this life is a kind of the game. Okay, that way, that way, I can need to choose here, I need to choose here. And definitely, definitely, you need to feel it. You need to feel it. So how do we hear from the spirit guides? How do we hear? Okay, do you mean the information? You need to go inside you, definitely. Through the meditation, that's your inner voice, that's your inner knowing. You know the spirit guide is talking through you because then you'll be feel from your heart, no from your mind, okay? No, I should, I should go, I can't go, I have to do this, I have to do that. No, you will be no, okay, that's right for me because, listen this, because I will feel much better, okay? That will be, I will be, I'm feeling 
and that's really benefits for me and that's really benefits for others you need to pay attention is that kind of a situation is not uh, just only benefits you but also is benefiting benefit for others so i pinned my linking tree so if anyone would like to go and see what i'm offering just only go and have a look if you would like to um, any support just only go and have a look as well if you would like to leave me any kind of a donation that's a linking tree i'm sending you over there so that's right so you need to go start listen through your heart instead of through your mind because mind mind is good because mind is giving you that creation the mind is supporting you to bring that manifestation but feel with your heart if you don't feel it don't do it if you don't feel it don't do it period by the way they oh they're giving me now the information uh, regarding to how do I hear from the spirits guides so definitely see if you don't feel it don't do it that's the one way but if you've got the two choices and then I'm going to wrap up this information if you've got the two choices in your life and you would like to have go this way or that way yeah and you're thinking oh this one is my, will be much better but when you start questioning 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 just leave it it's not for you <laughs> just leave it it's not for you for the moment because there was too much overthinking inside you i just only went through that process oh my goodness oh what i'm doing again what i'm doing again so take it and apply on your life and let me know how is that sounds for you okay thank you so much and be you be you and bring the value inside you in your life set the boundaries be worthy enough to receive clear all unwanted emotions vibration energy from your physical body mental body and emotional body because that's really crucial for nowadays um because that's that's so crucial that's so vast that's so vast i can talk i can talk and experience the clearing and experience the another things where the people can offering you to to live uh, your life fully yeah definitely definitely like that so thank you so much for being here with me i have to go and i've got a lot of commitments today to do but definitely if you would like to sign up for rise up your frequency the beautiful monthly workshop uh, yes i'm going to leave the link below and actually you can go to the linking tree and book that uh, session with me is the first week of the month so november is coming so that will be soon 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 once a month uh, i'm just only doing this uh, again i would like to meet other people from the different part of the world yes but also i'm thinking to travel to india one day uh, and definitely definitely yes please please share this video as far as you would like to and invite your um beautiful souls and i mean the souls who are really really you think that will be ben they will be benefit from that information which i'm just only sharing here with you today so thank you so much and yes namaste speak to you soon bye for now